Hi, my name is Bob. Welcome to the new YouTube series called Shareware. On Shareware, I'm gonna take you on a ride through a Shareware episode of a game. And on the first season, we're gonna play Wolfenstein 3D. On this first episode, we're gonna dive in on E1M1 of Wolfenstein 3D, which was Shareware, so you could spread this with the world. And it came out in 1992. All right, we're gonna play this on the real hardware. No emulation this time because you guys have been asking for it. It's the real deal machine. I'm ready if you guys are. Let's go, new game. All right, we got all of the episodes unlocked. We got episode one, two, six, but we're gonna play the shareware one, which was free for everybody to play. And you can still get it anywhere you like on the internet. You can play on four different difficulty settings. Um, if you play on Can I Play Daddy, it's going to be tough to die, it's going to take a while. If you want to, well, if you have played games like this before, then I advise you to play Don't Hurt Me. If you like a challenge, then play it on Bring Em On. But of course, I'm going to do this on I'm Death Incarnate, because you guys like it that way. Here we go, first level. If you're into modern shooters, then be sure to note this if you want to play with the mouse. You move forward and backwards by moving the mouse forwards and backwards, but you look to the left and right by moving the mouse left and right, which is a bit different from how it goes nowadays, because you move with your keys, but if I use my cursor keys, I rotate. So you can combine it like this, but this doesn't play that well. So what I do, you got your mouse buttons. The left one is to shoot, the middle one is to open doors or find a secret wall, and the one on the right holding it down is gonna make you strafe. Instead of watching from left to right, holding it down, you're gonna move from left to right. You can also do that with the Alt button, and that's why I always prefer playing this with keyboard and mouse. The game starts off pretty dark. You start in your cellar with a dead guard in front of you, and you mastered him and got his gun with eight bullets. You also have a knife, but that's not gonna save us. Open up your cell and always go to the right first. There's two guards, and they've seen me now. Wait for them. And they're down. Collect the ammo. If you got hit, you can pick up the food for 10% extra health, there's also food in this cellar, and there's a piece of food in that cellar. Mmm, crispy chicken. Alright, let's continue on to exit our, the cellar complex, and in this room is one guard. Not anymore. Did you hear that? There are more guards, and they are alerted. Well, at least one of them is, and he's in that room coming for us. See, there are even two of them. Collect their ammo. Continue on to the right, more cells, and the first dog of the game. I like to shoot them in between the doorway so they don't close anymore, that saves time. And two more guards, let's see how the three other puppies are doing. One, two, let's scratch me, come on. 15% health every time they hit me. Fun uh, fact about this room, there is dog food in there, and since we got hit, you can pick up the dog food. But don't forget, this wall is a secret push wall, only not in this version of the game. Only on the Super Nintendo, or on the 3DO, or on the Mac computer, which follows uh, different uh, uh, campaign levels. Only 30 instead of 60, all of them based on these, but a little bit narrowed down for my opinion, and... Um, they're not, well, not the same. They have extra secrets or uh, big differences compared to the original, but definitely worth to check them out. It's called the Second Encounter. Two more guards and a doggy. Shouldn't be a problem. All right, pick up the food. More food. <coughs> All right, we got full health now. That's good. One more guard in the brown area, and another one hiding over there, but that one's set to death, he couldn't, he couldn't hear you. He will only respond when he sees you or when he's already dead on the floor. In this incline over here where the guard was hiding, first secret. 
And this is the best secret in the level because... Extra weapon. New weapon, you got four weapons. It's the knife, the pistol, the machine gun, and the chain gun. All right, treasure time. Here's the first treasure of the game. It's being guarded by one guard. Only on the hardest difficulty though. Behind this door, two more guards. They were already alarmed. Next room is gonna be the very first tricky room in the game. Five guards. That's four, and that's five. The brown guards are pretty funny because they are the only guards that have different dying sound effects. Collect all of the treasure and don't forget to stroke Hitler because he's a secret poster. All right, next room. Another hallway with one guard. You have to watch out because they can hit you pretty hard. All right, everybody is alarmed right now. I got hit from a distance by that guy. If you need a med kit, then get one here. Nobody there anymore, already killed him. But now let's go this way, because the room where we came from, the guard that started over here got alarmed and they always try to take the fastest route towards you. Their pathfinding isn't that good. All right, this is the last room of the level. Um, this is the exit elevator, go in and the level. That's, that's up to you, but if you want to see something cool, secret, secret, and another secret with an extra life power up. You can just hold down space to find the secret areas. And there's BJ face. And another exit. And this exit is um, special because it brings you to a secret level but only in the registered version of the game. The secret level is in the shareware episode as well, uh, the shareware version of the game, but um, somehow it roots you to level two. Let's see. Hundred percent kills, hundred percent secrets and hundred percent treasure. Took us five minutes 40. That's pretty long. Let's see how fast I can do this. As you can see, after finishing the level in 5 minutes 40, it states that the part time of the level is 1 minute 30. That shouldn't be any problem for any player if you just rush through it. But let's see how fast I can do it. I'm aiming for 30 seconds. Made it below 30 seconds, that's not bad. <laughs> Especially for somebody that's used to playing this with a computer mouse. But with the mouse, there's no doing this. So yes, below 30 seconds, it's possible. I've seen people doing this in 20 seconds, but you have to strafe and run diagonally because that's, that's the way to move fastest through Wolfenstein. But I do not master that skill yet. Alright, so that's the first episode of the new series on the DOS Gamers YouTube channel called Shareware. I hope you enjoyed it. Next week we're gonna take a closer look at the secret level also known as E1M10 of the Shareware episode. Fun fact, did you know that you could play this same level on Wolfstein The New Order 
Wolfenstein The Old Blood and even on Wolfenstein 2, but that's in an ultimate dimension, so you'll be playing for the other side. Do not forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and I hope to see you next week when we play E1 M10.